It was 23 hours ago, 24 hours ago, that uh, got an email. And we weren't quite sure what the email was. Talked about a merger. A lot of fine print there. And then all of a sudden, there's an interview on CNBC and the PGA Tour commissioners there with a representative from the uh, Saudi Tour, the Live Tour. And all of a sudden, we're finding out in real time, just like the players were, hey, there's a merger, and it's for the greater good of golf. After nearly a year of bitterness and legal battles, the Tour and the Live Tour are officially in business. The news comes as a surprise to a lot of people because the Live Tour had been viewed as a major threat to the so-called purity of the PGA Tour. We brought out uh, an emphasis on loyalty and patriotism in 9-11. And this helped keep the tour, uh, keeping some of their top players there on tour and not going to the Live Tour. And, uh, you know, you have the uh, PGA Tour and the commissioner constantly attacking Live due to the connection to uh, Saudi sport, uh, sports washing. And uh, this is dripping with hypocrisy. The PGA removed players' tour guards uh, cards if they join Live. Now the PGA has done exactly what they were warning their players not to do. And now you're taking money from uh, the Saudis. And so is the PGA Tour, not just the Live Tour. And they didn't even have the courtesy to inform their players what was happening. And then I don't even know what could possibly happen without the policy board. The PGA has five players on the uh, policy board. Rory McIlroy, Webb Simpson, Patrick Cantlay, Peter Malnati, and Charlie Hoffman. And I'm guessing this had to be run by them if they were going to go ahead. Did it have to be unanimous that everybody signed off on this? So uh, the organization that's preached loyalty, uh, this is not one of the better looks for the PGA Tour. After uh, what happened yesterday, you're informed via Twitter and other media outlets. And imagine these players going, wait, this is our tour? Because the commissioner kept saying, hey, we, we. And the players got together with the commissioner yesterday in Canada and said, what's this we stuff? We didn't, we, we're, it's on our tour. You're the one that decided. I don't know what Jay Monahan got out of this personally. That was my first thought. But I'd like to know. We've invited everybody from Greg Norman to Phil Mickelson to Tiger to the commissioner to Rory McIlroy. Uh, nobody wanted to come on and uh, speak on record about this. And I understand that this is a, a seismic shift in what we thought was going to happen in the future. You know, would live fold because there was no uh, TV partner. Now they have the CW, but really a, a major player here where we could watch the product. Did This was the future of the sport. You got to have fun. You got to wear shorts. They played loud music and you played 54 holes. I go, that's not the future of golf. Sounds like a fun weekend, but that's not the future of golf. The future of golf is money. The Saudis bought the PGA Tour, plain and simple. And so you have these players, you know, Tiger could have made $800 million. Well, he didn't. But now you, the commissioner has put these players in a position where if you get paid now, you're getting paid by the Saudi government. Or you got to retire. It's a terrible, terrible position that the commissioner put these players in. Hey, you didn't take the money from the Saudis like Mickelson, Brandel Chambly, or uh, uh, Bryson DeChambeau, but then you have guys who are in the United States playing for the PGA Tour. John Rahm didn't take the money, and Rory could have gotten $400 million. Uh, Colin Morikawa, they all could have gotten paid. They didn't. So they had loyalty. And what did you get for your loyalty? Nothing. Because now it's a forced partnership, and now you are getting paid by the Saudi Tour, but you're not getting $100 or $200 million like Phil Mickelson did. What do you do if you're Brandel Chambly? He works for the Golf Channel. Golf Channel run by the PGA Tour. You're going to take Saudi money, aren't you? Do you have to go independent? Does Brandel Chambly have to retire as an analyst, step down, do something else? The commissioner put a lot of people in bad situations here. I'd love to know, and he keeps saying, hey, this is about down the road, 10 years down the road. Well, okay, but we need to talk about today. How about we start with yesterday, and then we can get to 10 years down the road. But I'd like to know, what was that first phone call like, Commissioner? Did you call them? They call you? 
What was the conversation? Hey, we can end all the uh, litigation. Uh, okay. It's going to cost this, or we can do this, or let's create a world tour under one roof. Okay. Just tell me, did you get a bump in pay here? Like, what are you getting out of this? What were you worried about? Uh, let me see if I have some of his uh, answers. He talked about that he got some more information here. Now, I don't know what the information was that wasn't available to him last year or the year before, but it felt like the commissioner was saying, you know, hey, I got uh, information now and it changed, uh, you know, what, what our philosophy is. Um, here is uh, the commissioner yesterday talking about being uh, hypocritical. I recognize that people are going to call me a hypocrite. And anytime I've said anything, I said it with the information I had at that moment. And I said, I said it based on someone that's trying to compete for the PGA Tour and our players. And so I accept those criticisms. Okay, I'd just like to know some answers. That's all. So you're going to take the slings and arrows, but what changed? Did you change? Because I don't know if the information changed. Sounds like the commissioner changed and then decided, uh, can't beat him. Guess we'll join him. And now you've got, and I still don't know what the, the future of the tour is. Are we, are we going to play by the live tour rules? So you're going to play 54 holes? Are you going to have team events? Is there more money? Is there another major? Uh, are we going around the world? You got, uh, ma you know, is it, uh, a major going to be held at another place around the world? I mean, there's the U.S. Open has to be here. The British Open has already played there. The <laughs> Masters is played here. The only one is the PGA, unless you say, hey, we're going to have a fifth major here. But you've also put these players in a really difficult position. Okay, we didn't leave. We had a conscience. You guys banged on the drum on patriotism and the Saudis and 9-11 and all of those things. Now we're going to be taking their money. And I think people, like you can't pick where you go, man, you guys are stupid. You didn't take the live tour money. Well, at the time, they were doing what they thought was right. And that's what the commissioner has done. He's put them in a really difficult light that, hey, I didn't take the money then. I was trying to be loyal. Now you're not loyal. So now I have to take their money. I'm wondering if the players can, you know, Forced Jay Monahan to resign as the commissioner. The players had a meeting yesterday, and I think it was pretty co contentious there with the commissioner. But he's put him in a really difficult position. But the commissioner had this to say yesterday about it was a great day for golf. It's a historical day for the PGA Tour and the game of golf. And it's a historical day for the PIF and the DP World Tour. And, you know, there's been a lot of tension in our sport over the last couple of years. But what we're talking about today is coming together to unify the game of golf. It looked like an infomercial. When I first saw it on CNBC, I thought, okay, I mean, might as well have the uh, Shamwell guy there doing an infomercial here. That's what it felt like. It was an infomercial for what is next with the Saudi-backed live tour. And if a player wanted to go play, go play. I just didn't want them to dismantle the PGA Tour. I wanted to still have the majors. I still wanted to see these events. I would love to have those players play. But if you chose to go, then you chose to, it was a vote against the PGA Tour. Is the PGA Tour uh, perfect? No, not at all. Uh, Phil Mickelson taking a victory lap that, you know, is this making the PGA Tour better? I don't know. You raise the money, uh, you know, can you play less events? What, what are they doing with world rankings? And, uh, you know, you've got Ryder Cup. And, and like, there's so much involved here that it's not easy to go, you know what, this is going to be great for the game. I don't know that. And the players don't know that. And the fact that they had, they found out when I found out, man, I'd be livid. I'd be livid at that commissioner. And the first thing I would say is, what is your salary? What were you promised? Because it's all transactional, right? Nobody got a heads up here. Tiger didn't. Rory didn't. And those are the guys who've been out there banging the drum. Maybe it is better. Maybe down the road.
And yes, we're in bed with a lot of different companies, governments. I get it. NBA, we saw what happened with China. Shh, don't say anything. I get it. But this is one where the commissioner was saying, hey, they're responsible for 9-11. Well, if I'm a patriot, I can't join the live tour. Like all of these things that this is what you presented. And now can you answer? What did you find out? They're not responsible for 9-11? Like you got some information? It's the same partner. It's the same money. It's, it, it's a sad day. It really was. Yesterday was a sad day. That you're, you, got, you got principles, you got morals, then stand on them. Or just do me a favor, don't pretend to stand on them. Yes, Eden. All right, that's the position. Now, Jay Monahan has forced the players to put their money where their mouth is twice. Yeah. Some of them have already done it to the tune of $800 million, and now it's either play or retire. Yeah, Paul. Could, could the players like John Rahm, Tiger Woods, Roy McIlroy kind of collectively partner together and say, okay, the, 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 the money coming from the Saudi Royal Fund is still there, but this new partnership, you're going to have to pay us what Brooks Kepka got and what uh, other guys got to have us in the fold as a group. Well, if I'm some of these marquee guys, I go to Jay Monahan and say, look, man, we took a bullet for you. You know, we were banging the drum here, you know, keep the PGA Tour alive. Now, can we trust you going forward? Are you, are you setting up something for us? We were loyal. And now people are looking at us like we're fools. Like, you should have taken the money. Yes, Eden. But that's, the whole point is, they didn't want to take their money at all. Yes. So getting together now to say, well, now pay us again anyway, even though we said no the first time, well, that would be hypocritical. Yeah. The, the problem is, is now if they want to continue playing, they're forced to take the money. Yeah. There's no other option. Or what, are you just going to play for free or something? Like, there's no other option. We'll talk to Van Pelt about this. I, I still, I don't even think the PGA Tour knows exactly what the PGA Tour is going to be moving forward. Yes, Eden. Well, there's this one article that I'm reading. It says, according to several players, nothing close to a concrete plan was offered by Monaghan. What was described was a framework for a merger that was far from fleshed out. <laughs> I mean, how, did, <laughs> how does that happen? Far from fleshed out. You're making this... Oh, gosh. This feels like one of those corporate takeovers where the people say, let's get the deal done and we'll figure out the rest later. There's so much money involved here that Jay Monaghan and the Live Tour said... Let's just get it approved, hide it from everybody, explode it on CNBC, and we'll convince everyone else later that how we're going to work this out. Why CNBC? Business, like somewhat of an obje objective business place. But it, that's the problem, that, that you have really based this on emotion, not a financial. This, that's what it, it feels like. It's just a financial transaction. That's all. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Just Let's just... Get it done, and uh, no worries. We, we, we'll, we'll figure it out down the road. Don't worry about it. Players should not have found out the same time we did. That's all.